Okay, so this is gonna be another breakfast tutorial. Today I'll be doing grits and sausage. Um, I pretty much just do them my own way. I don't follow the package directions. And then over here, um, I have some Italian style blend cheese. And next to that is eggs and butter. I'm gonna do cheese eggs. And of course I've already uploaded a video showing how I do my scrambled eggs with cheese. And over here I have bread. I'm gonna do toast and strawberry preserves. I hate jelly. <laughs> so I guess I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is, now I like my grits creamy. So keep in mind, if you don't like your grits creamy and you like them thick, you might wanna use a little less water, but I like to fill it up with water. Okay, so I'm gonna do See, fold it up, get a little bit of that out. Now I set it on the stove and I'm just going to bring it to a boil. So I have it all the way on high. Okay, so once it goes to a boil, once I bring it to a boil, I'm sorry, I'll come back and show you what I do next. For the grits, I'm gonna put some more water in the pan. This is the frying pan. In fact, it's the same one I used on my other video. Okay, while I'm waiting for the grits, I'll just put some water in a pan. It's gonna be the same pan I fry my um, sausage in. And I'm going to set this on high as well. This pan is really old, but. Okay, so I'm gonna put, uh, bring this to a boil and I'll be back. Um, here's another tip. Um, some people may already do it. I'm actually gonna put my crock pot on low and that way, when my grits is done, what's gonna happen is I'll put the grits in there. That way, when I make um, the eggs and toast, which should always be made last, um, that way, you know, the grits will stay nice and hot. So yeah, just a little tip. Oh, this is really more than what I wanted to get to. But anyway, so okay, I have the grits, right? So I'm just gonna pour some in to my liking, right? Just mix it a little bit and I just pour a little more and if it thickens up too much then I'll just add more water so of course I'm going to lower this temperature now and make sure that you cover it and you can t and you make sure that you stir this quite frequently for you beginner cooks because you do not want lumpy grits so I'm just going to cover this and I'm going to lower this put this on low and in the meantime, I'm gonna move over to the sausage. Over here, um, I have my water boiling. I'm just putting some sausage in right now. I'm only gonna put four in. And I'm gonna let those boil. I might even have to, yeah, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Be right there. Okay, that's better. I added more water. But now we're gonna move over here the grits like I said this needs to be stirred quite frequently and just mix mix it around see we do not want lumps so like I said I put it on low and just continuously stir it and you can buy quick grits but I prefer um these grits So I'm going to continue to stir. It's very important to stir because like I said, you don't want, um, okay. So once again, I'm still stirring the grits. I'm trying to hold this, make sure the camera doesn't drop from the grits. I don't want that. Okay. Over here, the sausage having um, quite started boiling. Of course, I added the extra water, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start cracking my eggs and preheating my oven for my toast. Okay, I'm still mixing up the grits. As you can see, they're starting to thicken up, which is what we want. And that's what I want. And
And like I said, just keep checking on it every few minutes or so. So that it come out nice and creamy and not lumpy. Don't want lumpy grit. Okay, so I just took the lid off again and this is what it's looking like. Still not quite done. Almost, we get in there, but not quite. to my other things okay so we're almost there so but no lumps I'm just mixing it so once again I'm just mixing this around like every few seconds well not every few seconds like every um, few minutes like I said I mixed this quite frequently okay so at this point um it's pretty much done at least for me it is you could cook it a little longer but it will thicken up so you know grits are really hot so i'm gonna pour this in the crock pot and then i will show you what i do next i'm uh, now pouring okay as you can see i have the grits in the crock pot so i'm just gonna add some butter and some salt i just add I season um, with the salt to taste, okay? That's, what, that's all I can tell you. I season to taste. I don't want like salt secrets. I just want some flavor. So I'm going to add some salt and I'll be back. Once I add the salt, then I mix everything around, butter and all. And then what I'll do is get like a fork um, and then I'll taste it. And if, and if it tastes good and flavorful then I'll just put the top on and let it just sit and stay warm while I cook the other things and I know some people add cheese and all of that and other stuff but I'm, I don't do all of that I just like I said do a little salt and some butter and I'm good so yeah definitely season or salt it or whatever you're gonna do okay so I already have the sausage done and I'm going to just cut it's hard to do holding the camera, but I'm just gonna cut them like that so they look like that. And then over here, I have the okay, and already heated. And hopefully, when I put these in, they'll sizzle. So I'll just give it a minute. Ooh, that's hot. Hopefully, okay, good. So I'm gonna continue to do this until it's like brown to my liking and I'll be back. Okay, I just flip the sausage over. Um, kind of how I like it. I don't use any oil or anything. For me, it's really not necessary. But, yep, I'm going to just continue letting it fry and I might even flip it over and let it brown a little more. But, I'll be back. So I flip them back over and they look great. And, so yeah. Um, I guess I'll be back. So I flipped them back over and they look great. And so yeah, um, I guess I'll be back. So I flipped them back over and they look great. And so yeah, um, I guess I'll be back. Now I'm starting my toes. And for my toes, we don't really like them hard. We like to kind of have a soft middle. So I just add like some butter on top before I put the toast in. I mean, before I put the bread in, I'm sorry. Okay, so this concludes my breakfast the middle of the day. I showed you how I do sausage and grits. And time to eat. Okay.